Hi guys, um, I'm back with another video. Um, this time it's going to be something a little different. It's more like a dedication to a horror, particular horror channel and, a, and the person that runs it. Um, he wanted to know, he's a good friend of mine, um, he wanted to know, or he didn't realize that I subscribed to Horror Pack. And it's a monthly service. Uh, the DVD is $19.99 a month, and I believe Blu-ray is $24.99 a month. I currently get both and subscribe to it. Um, I'm going to start off with the DVDs. And I'm going to run through the different kind of subgenres you can get in these packs. The first one is The Hollow Child. Starts Jessica McLeod, John Emmett Tracy. Psycho 2 with Anthony Perkins. We all know what that's about. Meg Tilly's in that too, by the way. Um, the Unwilling. This has been at the Dollar Tree a time or two. That stars Dina Meyer from... Uh, the Saw series. Next up, Kill For Me. I've seen this on uh, different streaming services. I think it might be, might have been on Tubi, possibly Shudder. Next four up, let her out. This was pretty good. And then Phantasm 2 with Angus Scrim and Reggie Bannister. I have the Blu-ray set that was remastered recently, but I'm happy to have that too. Don't Be Afraid of the Dark starring Katie Hook Holmes and Guy Pierce. And then the movie Mercy. This has been on um, different videos, not of mine, but different hauls for the Dollar Tree. And I think it might be at Big, big Lots as well. The next four up Exit 14. Really cool cover. I don't think the movie was as good as the cover makes it up to be, but that's always the case with these horror films. And that stars, stars Tom Sizemore and John Schneider from Dukes of Hazard. It's hard to believe he's playing a horror film, but I guess you need a paycheck, you, you do what you have to. Um, and then next up, Most Likely to Die. It says Jake Busey in it. Ooh, that's Gary Busey's son. So, you'd know him instantly if you've seen him in this. This is a pretty good movie. Not the greatest slasher, not the worst. Next up, The Open Door. Nice cover. I believe it's unrated. That's the back. And this stars Dominique Swain from um, Haven, I believe she's from. It's called Dead Mary. That too is unrated. I think this was a Canadian shot movie. More than likely. It's got a Canadian uh, logo on the back. Next four up. This stars Lance Henriksen and Danny Trio in Necessary Evil. Uh, kind of has that my bloody Valentine um, vibe to it to me. Probably ain't nothing is half as good as that, but this is a widescreen presentation. 16 by 9. Um, this is pup this is the next one up is uh, the Midnight Horror Collection. This has Puppet Masters 4, 5, and 6, not 1, 2, and 3, as I had may, uh, mentioned in a prior video of that uh, I had some technical difficulties on so this is four five and six and that's the back 
Next up, the widescreen edition of the Dominion prequel to The Exorcist. There's two prequels to The Exorcist. Some people say this one's better. Some people say the other one is better. I think Rennie Harlan directed the other one. I think this is... I'm not really sure who did, who did this one. Mm. So it's a film by Paul Schrick, Schrader. Uh, Stellan Stasgard, Gabriel Mann, Clara Beller. Mm. Yeah, this isn't the Rennie Harlan. I think he did the other one. And this is Tsui Park's Vampire Hunter. This is a Columbia TriStar Pictures collaboration. I don't know nothing about that one. I've never heard of that one. And the final four final four were the ones that were the last the last horror pack for May. First one up is afflicted. It's a found footage. It won like three awards at a film festival. So somebody must have thought it was really good. I liked it. I thought it was really good. Um, this is a Sony CBS. It's an E1 release. So that could be at your dollar dollar trees. Lake Placid Legacy. I think this might be the fifth, fifth in the series. Third one up, Family Possessions. This has been making its way at the Dollar Trees, I believe. It's, uh, they've inherited much more than a house. And that's Family Possessions. Insp inspired by true events. It kind of has a Samara vibe, but I don't think it's anywhere going to be anywhere in the league of uh, the ring. And the last one, Horsehead. Once again, it's in the clear case that I like. I like that. Never get enough of those. Okay, these are the Blu-rays, and I'm not doing these in any particular order. I was going to do them the, by the month at which I got them on, but I got confused as to what came out in the month. I know I had them stacked right, but it started looking a little like some of them were mixed in, so I'll just do them at random. Okay, first up for the Blu-rays for Horror Pack is Bloodsucking Bastards. Pardon the swearing, but... That's what it's called. <laughs> uh, this is a Scream Factory release. So you get Scream Factories in the harder pack for Blu-ray from time to time. It's it's more prevalent. You get them more often than not. This was a good movie. I liked it. I had shirts from uh, Sasquatch Gang in it. He uh, played a different kind of role where he's a little bit more serious but clever comedy kind of guy. Uh, the forest, this comes with a slip with a digital code intact. Um, it's not, it's by some standards, probably some people's cup of tea, but I really liked it. I I went into it expecting not to like it, and I ended up coming away liking it quite, quite a bit. <clears throat> and then the Exorcist 3, that all speaks for itself. One of the, one of the better se sequels to a classic, then they're, then they're uh, one of the better sequels, I should say, to one of the, possibly the scariest movie of all time, and it holds it, it holds up pretty well, and it's it's a worthy sequel, I think, to The Exorcist. I'd, uh, I'd almost like to ignore Exorcist 2 and call this Exorcist 2, because I feel like this is a true sequel. And then... The Scream Factory release of Demented. And in the spine, sometimes they have numbers with a Blu ray. Used to be DVD 
the DVD subscription, you would get um, signed copies and stuff like that. But they must have got away from doing that. I don't. I don't know if they had a problem with that. The next four up. This is a Blu-ray digital copy of Life, starring Ryan Reynolds. Double feature pack of Mega Shark vs. Crocosaurus and Two-Headed Shark Attack. Cheesy goodness here. All on Blu-ray. I've seen this on DVD, but it looks better packaged on a Blu-ray, I think. This this the third one up for the four pack. Bong of the Living Dead. This is a horror pack limited limited edition Blu-ray. My kit, my covers coming out of the package. <clears throat> Next one up. Nefarious has that bloody vat, my bloody Valentine vibe to it. Got to get around to watching this. I bought this on eBay. This was not part of the pack, but it's a uh, Cannibal Holocaust. I wanted it because I heard a lot of infamous things about the movie, so I thought I'd grab it. I got a kind of a high price deal, but I, I don't know. I thought it was worth it. Then I got Mutants. That's pretty, it's a pretty bad film that claims it has zombies and whatnot, and it's very much a letdown. There's like hardly no zombies in this, and it, the ones they do are like so far and few between. It's just. If I could throw it in the fireplace, I would. Um, I got two of these. These are special edition Blu-rays from the horror pack. I had a problem. Every time I put the one disc in, it would say, disc is not finalized or has, I don't know, dust on the disc. And I know I didn't, I know it didn't have dust on, dust on the disc because um, it was a, it had just been opened, and I don't overhandle my desk too much, but they sent me another one. Um, I'm still having the same problem. as I, I don't know if anybody else is having that problem, but I had dual problems on both discs. I, I think when it was finalized, somebody didn't check, uh, at least on the copies I've been getting. I don't know. Um, I think it's... Uncorked Entertainment. I tried reaching out to the head uh, CEO at Uncorked, and he just like put it back on Horror Pack. I don't know if it's something they did with it or Uncorked did it, but I'm gonna have to get a more workable copy or something because I just feel like that's incomplete. Um, and then I got. Rewind, that's a found footage. It was alright. I, I see some people saying it was really good. and, and it, was, it was fair. I, I didn't really like the plot of it. Like, they kind of, by the end, they kind of swerve you. And I, I don't know. I didn't really like the swerve. I thought it, I thought it looked, it started out promising and kind of that third act kind of fell apart. I didn't really like that. And then it ruined the movie for me. And that's a Horror Pack limited edition blue too. Uh, and this is next one up is clickbait. This is a horror pack limited edition Blu-ray, and it has the number forty-four on the side. That's how they label some of these. And this is forty-five, forty-four, and forty-five. Next up, we have the machine. This is a turbo release right here at the top. I like these. Sorry about the whiteness. It's kind of hard video to 
capture the true uh, essence of what the cover actually looks like. This is an Accelerator media release. This movie was another garbage movie in my opinion. I didn't I did not like this at all. It started out promising and a little too much humor here and there for me. I let my horror straight up and to the point. This this didn't deliver for me. And here's the bag. Here's a movie I did like. I didn't like it as good as some people. It's like some people love it. I'm kind of like 80% like it a lot, but I am, I'm not in the love category. I'm more like, eh, solid, very solid, but not love. And there's the back of that. And this is from the creators of The Evil Dead. Next up, Elizabeth, Elizabeth Harvest. This is a really good film. Stars Abby Lee, Siron Hines, Carla Guglino, and Matthew Beard. And my final four is the unrated director's cut of Drag Me to Hell. This has the unrated and uh, the R-rated theatrical release. And this is from Universal. And then next up, Bloodfest. This is a Blu-ray DVD combo pack. I'm not sure, but that's from Cinedyne. Kind of a thick, heavy disc. It's got a lot on it. So it's, it's a definitely a good uh, pickup from from a horror pack. I'd like to thank them for that. <clears throat> and then there's uh, Land of the Dead, and this is the unrated director's cut. The perfect high def movie experience. So I have a feeling this might be a lot, uh, quite a bit of an older disc because it's been a while since they say that kind of stuff. And it's a decent amount of features on it, but it does have a. Let's see. It's got a screen test for zombie casting call. Guess it's got a little bit more than I thought. But that's uh, the land of the dead. And then uh, the final Blu-ray, and then the final anything really for this video is the darkness, and then stars Kevin Bacon. I seen this at the theater. It was really good. Um, but I'd like to do a shout out to Sean, Sean at Blue Digital. Uh, he he has a channel here on uh, YouTube, and he uh, welcomed me into the YouTube community when I asked him about a movie a while back, and uh, he he gave it to me. He wasn't even going to expect anything. He just was going to send it, and I said, uh, I have some in my in my uh, collection that I'd like to give him, you know, as a return favor, and I sent it to him, and he's been plugging my channel. Hobbs Horror, put, I think he said he put me on Facebook, so I get more eyes on the prize when it comes to viewers on uh, YouTube. And I'd like to thank all the horror community for their uh, support and endorsement. And I'd like to say, if you like this video and you want to see more of my collection in, in future Dollar Tree hauls, please like, share, and subscribe and ring uh, the bell for notifications, and uh, you all stay safe and have a nice day. Bye.